In this problem we're looking at the force and moment on an inclined dam. So the dam is retaining water to a depth of 7.5 metres. The width of the dam is 1 metre and the dam is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees relative to the water surface. So what we're trying to do in this example is work out the total force F on the dam its location L dash and the moment at the base M trying to topple the dam so before we solve this problem it's worth just quickly thinking about what difference it makes to the problem when the dam is inclined. So what we have going on here is a dam at an angle theta to the horizontal. We have a force acting at some distance L bar from the water surface and the centroid, sorry L dash from the water surface and the centroid L bar is halfway down the dam from the surface of the water. If the dam was at 90 degrees, then we know that the force on the dam is equal to the density of water times gravity times the area of the surface times the centroid of the surface. And what this equation is telling us is that the total force on the dam is the average pressure, which is rho times gravity times the centroid of the surface times by the area of the surface. Now exactly the same principle applies for an inclined dam, only you can't use the distance L bar at an angle in this equation because pressure is always equal to the vertical depth of water above a point, so the pressure at the centroid is actually going to be this height y, the vertical height to the centroid, not L bar, which is the inclined height from, this, from the origin. So for this problem the force would actually be the density of water times gravity times area times this height y, which is the vertical height. Or what we can do is rewrite this equation converting y into L bar, so we could say that F equals rho g a sine theta L bar. And our sine theta is just converting that distance y into an L bar distance. So now we know those principles, we can go back to the example. start to see if we can solve this problem. So we now know that the total force on the dam F is going to be the density of water times gravity times the area of the surface times sine theta times L bar. And we know from our previous examples that the point of action is going to be second moment of area of the surface over area times L bar add L bar and our second moment of area is going to be B L to the power of 3 over 12. So those are the three equations that we can now use to solve this problem. So the first thing to think about is what is the area of our surface and to get that we need the total length and we don't actually have the total length we have the height of water so we actually have the length from the water surface to the base and if we want to find the total length we just need to do a bit of trigonometry and we get L is equal to 7.5 over sine 45 which gives us a total length of 10.61 meters 
from that we can work out L bar which is going to be half of our total length so 10.61 over 2 which gives us an L bar value of 5.305 meters and our area is just going to be our total length so 10.61 times by our width 1 meter so our area is going to be 10.61 meters squared so now we've got those we can work out our force so our total force is going to be density of water times by gravity times by the area 10.61 times by sine 45 times by the centroid 5.305 and that gives us a total force of 39 0, 0.4 newtons. So that's our total force pushing on the dam. Before we work out its location we need to work out the second moment of area so that's going to be the breadth times by the total height 10.61 cubed over 12 which gives us a value of 99.53 meters to the power of 4. That then gives us the point of action as what we've just calculated, second moment of area over the area of the surface times by the centroid added to the centroid and that gives us a location of 7.07 .07 meters from the surface, so that's this length here. So our moment at the base of the dam is going to be this total force F times by the lever arm from that force to the base of the dam and that lever arm is going to be the total length so 10.61 minus at L dash 7.07 .07 meters and that gives us a moment at the base of when you plug the numbers into the equation 1382159.0 newton meters And that's how to calculate the force, its point of action and the moment at the base of an inclined surface.